So this is Pride Revolution. Welcome, Steph, to the revolution. There's a lot to look at, 250 yes. items. Something like that, yeah. How, where did you find them? The majority of material comes from the library's collection. It was basically an opportunity for us at the library to showcase some of the incredible LGBTQIA plus records. For far too long. This exhibition showcases the evolution of legal and social restrictions placed on the queer community, but also celebrates the spaces where queer people found each other. 78 of Barry Kay's amazing photographs of trans feminine people in and around Sydney, taken in the mid 70s, were published in a book, but the whole collection that those 78 photos were drawn from numbers in the thousands. <gasps> and so we're really excited to be showing like about a hundred of these photos which have never been seen before. I know who I am. You'll see me walking. You'll see me walking on water. Can you tell me a little bit about this section here. This section is about early services for, uh, for, for trans and non-binary people. Yeah. So we've got Teresia's house, it's now called the Gender Centre, that was established in the early 1980s. So we're seeing lots of documents here, some letters yeah. about help and That's support. Right. They're coming straight from prison? Yeah, so interestingly, Teresia's house was actually set up as a halfway house for trans people coming out of jail. So that really reflects the condition of life for trans people, oh you know, goodness, yeah. in the early 80s there. This exhibition wouldn't be complete without Mardi Gras, and there's plenty of it, including some original artwork and their final posters. This one's by Alan Booth. Uh, Alan Booth was a designer and a cartoonist and an artist. He died, you know, quite young during the HIV AIDS epidemic. So the library holds the records of the Mardi Gras. It also holds a personal collection of Alan Booth's materials. Alan Booth's diary, it's sort of that wonderful experience of being able to zoom into the personal, you know, out from the sociological and the legal and the medical to the personal is just powerful. But of course there are gaps in what gets archived. Yeah, because who gets to decide? Like That's right, there is certain arbitrary processes, so we needed to be quite proactive. The curators say while they've tried to showcase an array of people and communities, there's still more to be done. So throughout World Pride, the State Library has been collecting stories from people about what their lives are like right now. The free exhibition will live on beyond World Pride until early July.